Okay, so the spindle's spinning and the edge finder is installed. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on the joystick in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, and we're going to switch over to continuous motion. Now we're going to probe in the bottom right hand side of the slide. So I'm going to move the table up. is over. Okay. And I'm going to push the spindle out towards me. And I want to make sure that the back part is flush. Okay, so I went a little bit too far. It's okay. I'll switch over to travel distance limited. That's good right there. Okay, so I usually straighten the edge finder out just like that, just to make sure everything's good. And you'll see that the head of the edge finder is just about flush with the bottom of the slide. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to move the, I'm gonna move the table down until it makes contact with the edge finder. So what I'll do with that is I will, I'm in travel distance limited. I've got it set at one millimeter and I definitely have a millimeter clearance there. So I'm going to go down on the X axis, check, go down on the X axis and that's good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it over to 0.1 millimeters and I'm going to go down. Now I'm going to, so you see how it straightens out right there? Now I'm gonna put it at 0 0.01. I'm gonna move down on the x-axis again. So see how you get the switch, and you're able to tell that that's your diameter, or your edge. You'll switch back over to continuous motion and move the edge axis or the Z axis back out. Exit out, and that's your X axis. Now you can't see it, but you. Uh, in the program it will accommodate for the center of the edge finder which is 2.200 diameter okay so we have the X we're gonna go to the Z next so joystick notification again right there and then we're gonna go next and we're gonna probe the Y now the Y is going to be on the right hand side of the slide so we're going to move the table up switch it over to continuous motion move the table up move the y Good right there you could go a little further if you wanted to but that's fine now we're gonna switch back over to travel distance limited we definitely have a millimeter clearance on that so one two that should be good we'll change it over to 0.1 and we're gonna move the y-axis towards the slide one two three four 
Switch it back over to continuous motion. Back it out. X, next. Start moving. Now we're going to swap the edge finder with the spindle. Or the, the end mill, excuse me. So let me prepare to do that. Excuse me, or the one eighth call it and the one sixteenth end mill. Bottom out the spindle or the end mill, make sure it's bottomed out and secure it. Good to go. Okay, now joystick notification. Now we're gonna find, oh, and also I should probably put this on this time. Just installing the spindle fan. Okay, now we're gonna probe the Z axis. So, next, start moving. Joystick, switch it to continuous motion, bring up the X. Now, bring out the Y or the Z. And with the Z, you're going to want to grab a scratch piece of paper. So I'll try to do this so you guys can see it. There we go. Just grab any scratch piece of paper. You're going to bring the Z as close as you can, about right there. We're going to switch over to jog mode and it's going to be distance limited. We're going to move it to 0.1 and we're going to jog the Z inward and insert the piece of paper in between. And right there, there's the Z. Exit out of this. Hit next. We're going to check. And we are good to go. 